Welcome to the 100% foolproof method of creating your own interactive whiteboard. After showing you how to connect your Wii Remote controller to your PC with the aid of Bluetooth and then calibrate the projected image in order to use your infrared pen, you will be able to just walk into your classroom and in 90 seconds have your digital board up and running for the rest of the day. Never again will you need to use the whiteboard marker which only comes in a range of green, red, blue and black and can sometimes smell quite potent and horrible. Once you're up and running, software such as Adobe DC Reader and Smart Notebook, which I have made a video of, give you a wide range of colours and highlighters to decorate your images which are projected on the board. I have been using this for the last two years and I have never had to use a marker on my board in that time, saving money on expensive board markers and money on cleaning fluids as they often leave a stain you cannot remove without expensive cleaning fluids. So even if you don't care about saving money, getting to know how to do this will change and improve your lesson planning and presentation. So now we're going to turn to the part where I show you step by step how to get it up and running. Just to remind you, once you have followed the steps to connect everything to your PC, it will take just 90 seconds to be up and running for the rest of the day to work on your new magic whiteboard. Now we've opened up our PC and we're going to first download the PDF that I'm going to be working from. So let's copy this and open up Google. And simply download this PDF image which I've made for you. So now I'm going to click off Google and go to my download page. So we'll just open up this document and there are four pages and we're going to go through each step. The first three pages, one, two and three, are just the initial installation. This is the first and only time you'll have to do it. The final page, step four, is what you will do on a daily basis. Just once a day, it will take you two minutes to connect to the Wii. Here are the things you need to buy. You need a Wiimote, an infrared pen, the smoothboard software, the net framework and the Wiimote software. Now the smoothboard and the Wiimote whiteboard software are together in a file below here. Part two is an example of how to hook up your Wiimote under your projector. Simply buy a selfie stick, hook the Wiimote onto it using its own strap, buy one of these clips from a hardware store, uh, clip it onto it, simply hook it on and you're ready to go. This is ideal because anytime you need to change the batteries or to press the one and two button to switch it on or to calibrate, you've got easy reach. Now let's go for the initial installation. You will need the smooth board and the Wiimote whiteboard. So let's download these two files. Okay, and now you can just simply download them. And we'll go to our download box and here it is. So we're just going to unzip that with the free 7-zip. Extract here. 
And there you have it, the Wiimote software and the smoothboard. So let's have a look at our PDF. We have both of them. And now we need to install the smoothboard as this is the link that helps us to get connected to the Wii very, very quickly. So let's install, run, and then see what happens next. As always, right click and run as administrator. You can choose the language if you wish. And as you can see, we have installed the smoothboard. But watch what happens when I go to run it, because we need to run it in order to connect our Wii. I will right click, run as admin. And you will be asked to download this net framework. So we just simply do that. Okay, now you have successfully installed it. That is excellent. Now we're going to close it. Remember, it will only ask you to install this if it's not already installed. So now we just run Smoothboard by right-clicking, run as administrator, And at this time, I'm going to be pressing the one and two button on my Wii remote in order that it can find it. This may take a long while for the first time, but afterwards, the number will remain on the smoothboard database or whatever, and you will be able to connect quite quickly. You can see the number there. Now we just keep, keep clicking one and two. We want it to be installed. It should go green and then launch the installer. Once it launches, there you go. We have connection. Now I will admit that I restarted my computer after having initially installed the net framework. So you may need to do this if it doesn't work. This just worked great this time. So as you can see, on the left hand side, we have the smoothboard software with which you also get this pen tools. Now you could use this software, just press the quick calibrate and you'll be up and running. It will work, but there will be an annoying icon or flag that jumps around your desktop saying register, register, and it can inhibit teaching sometimes. So once we're connected, you can see the battery level. We just simply need to click off. And now it says, do you want to disconnect the Wiimote? No, of course we don't. This is the whole reason we're using this software because it's the easiest way to connect the Wiimote. So we say no. That software is closed. And now we simply run our free Wiimote software. And in this zip file, you'll notice there's only two files, the Wiimote 
DLL and the EXE. We still need to have a calibration tool here. So what we're doing first, we're running this software, right click, run as admin. And you can see it recognizes the Wiimote immediately because we did not disconnect. If you try to run this on its own, it won't work, not without help from Smoothboard. So now we're going to calibrate and hopefully an icon will appear here because the first time we calibrate, the pen will not work and we have to switch it off. Remember, this is only the first time you have to do it. So I'm going to point my Wii mode at the screen and I'm going to press the A button. And now you can see I have icons and I'm clicking with my pen. And you can see a calibration tool has been created and it gives me the area of the screen I'm using. Make sure this white square is in the middle of the gray square. If it's off to the left, then you've not calibrated properly. So now what we have to do is if I try to use my pen, it doesn't work. And you're like, oh no, what's going on? It just doesn't work because it's the first time you've done it. So we simply click off, run once more, but now with the calibration icon there, run again. I'm going to press the A button again. But this time you'll notice this arrow is not my mouse, it's the actual pen I'm using. So I'm actually using the, the IR pen, the infrared pen, to do all these actions. So now you have successfully completed all the steps needed to get up and running each and every day using only page four. So let's click off this and if there's a light still on your Wii, you just simply press the power button and that will disconnect it. So let's have a look at our document again. We ran the smooth board. It opened up. We were connected. Yippee. We turned it off. We did not disconnect from the Wiimote. And we ran the Wiimote whiteboard. We pressed the A button. We calibrated. However, it did not work. But it did create a calibration data. So now, after turning it off and running again, we calibrated using the A button and it was successful. And we were able to do that. So now it's calibrated. All you need to do is each time you go into the lesson, the number will already appear here. Watch how quickly it takes me to get up and running. Now I've done all the first three steps. All I'm going to do is run the smooth board, press one and two, turn it off, not disconnect, run the Wiimote whiteboard software and Everything will be fantastic. So let's do that now. Now I've got my clock and we're going to see how long it takes me to get my Wiimote board up and running once I come into class. Now that all the installations have been done. So every day, this is how long it's going to take. We're going to set the clock, start the clock. Right click, run as admin. See my numbers already there waiting for me. I start pressing the one and two buttons.
There you go, loaded. Simply click off. Do not disconnect from the Wii. And now run my software here. Right click, run as admin. And there it is. Now I have to go to my Wii and press the A button. And there I am done. I'm connected and it is, let me just stop the clock. It is one minute and 30 seconds. So it took one minute and 30 seconds in order to get everything up and running. You can see here, I've got the power. I can use the pen. Hello, all thanks to a few bits of software and 30 euros worth of equipment. So every day you come into school in one and a half minutes, you can be up and running having your own digital whiteboard. And look at all these colors of pens I have. I have a myriad of colors and I never run out of ink. So enjoy this and pass it on to friends. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now. Okay, so that's all for today. Remember, you can find all the links to each video below. Just click on the show more button and check the information. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and give it a like. See you on the next video.